Welcome back to Randy's DIY. Today we have a Dell 3180 Chromebook. And can you guess what's wrong with this Dell 3180 Chromebook? Yep, it's got a broken screen. Some kid probably picked it up with the screen right there. Uh, they're pretty fragile, uh, the screens are, on any of these Chromebooks. And I've already done a little bit of the work removing these little black dot so today we're going to show you how to replace your screen on your dell 3180 chromebook first thing we got to do i left one of these little dots here little tabs first thing we're going to do is you take your sharp edge object knife anything like that and kind of go around it until you can get the tip underneath the, the little divot and then you can simply pick it right up off of there and lay it over here on your mat you can keep up with it for later installation. So then you take your PH1 Phillips head bit and remove these four screws around the bezel. Now on the Dell Chromebooks, they use some really good double-sided adhesive tape all the way around the bezel, and it makes it a real pain. So we remove these four screws we're going to take our sharp instrument and we're going to go right in behind this bezel. Now, normally I would have this turned off. Let's get power off there. Right, so we're going to put this spudger in here and we're going to just gently slide that through there, cutting that tape. And, and it can be tough. Whatever tape they use, Dale used, is, is a very strong tape. So once you get that tape cut, you can kind of pry up. When working along this top edge, especially right there and right there, be very careful. There is a camera cable and also a Wi-Fi antenna cable that is easily damaged. I'm trying to make this where you can see it and I can actually work on it. So let me just go right in there and cut that tape. Releasing the tape from the bezel. Now this bottom piece right here is really difficult. Try to hold your cutter as vertical as you can. You know, don't get any angle into the screen. But hold that in there. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this. But this is the way I have found that works best for me. I'm sure Dale probably has a a better means of releasing this. Now, of course, when you get this done, this screen's going to be destroyed. It's already destroyed because, well, it's cracked. Now, with the 3180s, I should have told you this for earlier. Pry up there. Come to the other side. Pry up there. These pop right out. These are directional. You can't put them on that way. You'll break them. So I always just take them and lay them directly out to the side of the Chromebook on the side that they go on and the direction that they go on. So there they are. Now that we've got the glue pretty much cut all the way around, we're going to just, and like I said, these Dells, man, they are, they're really difficult because of all the tape that they use. Oh, there it goes, turning on. And that happens about half the time. Okay guys, sorry it's taking so long to get this done. The double-sided tape has given me all kinds of fits. Uh, when the machine turns on and you're working on it, there's really nothing to worry about. If you want to turn it off, hold the power button down for seven seconds. It goes right back off. Thanks. Okay. And this is... There's your screen, and see we left most of the tape still intact around the bezel. So we lay the bezel back here. This is the part that I was telling you you were going to destroy. Uh, you can see the screen still still backlit, but it's not working. All right. So now once we get the bezel off, what we're going to do is remove these four screws from around the screen. Four little small silver screws. You can use the PH1 driver. And we'll 
pop that screen right out of there. Lay it over on its face on the keyboard. And then we're going to work this corner of this tape up, pull that back, release this little bar, and then grab the bar and the tape and just kind of wiggle it off. And there's your screen removed. Right, let me go grab a new screen right quick. Okay, so here we are back with our new screen. And we're just going to lay it down face down on the keyboard. Grab it in the same fashion as you had earlier. And line up all those little pins. And they slide right in to the front. And then we flip down the lever. The locking tab. And lock it on both sides. And then press our tape back down on that one more time. I like to rub it with the spudger a little bit and it makes it seem to get a better seal. Now, when you put the screen back in, you'll notice right in here, in this area, there's a little, two little standoffs that make a, tra a track, a tunnel. And um, there is one little standoff right here. Cable goes under that standoff and goes in the middle of these two. And then you can flip your screen back up, set it in place. And at this point, I usually like to power the unit on and test to make sure that, uh, make sure that we got everything hooked up and connections looking good. So you can see that screen looks great. Once it boots up, I'm gonna shut it back down again. We're gonna reassemble. Okay, so now we're booted up. I'm going to hold the power key down. Yeah, I'll just uh, power it off that way. Now that it's powered off, I'm going to unplug the power cord and I'm going to grab my four screen screws. And insert those and tighten them snugly. We don't want them coming out. These screws already have a bit of a thread locker on it. <clears throat> I haven't found a, a reason to add any to them. While you're watching me put all these screws back in, the really boring part of this, why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button and click that little bell notification so you'll get notified whenever I put new videos out. And hey, I appreciate you watching and hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you. Remove the protective cover from your screen and then we're going to gently wiggle that down until it's seated and you get alignment all the way around your frame. Start at the bottom corners and just start pinching. Just start pinching the outside edge of the bezel until everything is locked in place. Now, down here on the bottom, what I'll normally do on these is since they'll lay all the way back, I'll lay them flat on the ground and then go across the bottom pressing. And then you can check them right there. You can make sure everything is sealed or everything is snapped together. And it is in this case. So I'm going to lay it back again. I'm going to go ahead and put my little clips on. And these clips, in case you mistaken, uh, flip yours around or forget how they go on. These two little uh, hook tabs are going to go toward the screen. So the hooks toward the screen. So we're just going to, oh, and a little bit of uh, tip for you right here. There's a cable that can, that comes out. Let me see if I can stand that up. This cable right here, if you can get you a knife or a spudger in there and hold that cable up toward the screen, and also on this side, hold that up toward the screen, basically in line with these shafts. These will snap on much, much easier. So let's see if I can do this to show you. So there it is. I'm pushing up on the cable, lined, aligned it with the shaft. And then I'm going to try to set that right in there and click. There it is. All right. So also on this side, 
Press up, align that cable with that shaft, down, and snap. They're right on there. Those, that is the easiest way I've found to get those on. If you try to press them on with that cable in the way, you will break those tabs off, and then you won't have those uh, hinge covers anymore. All right, so all we got left to do is four more screws and four screw covers. These, I tend to just give it a good uh, quarter turn snug on them. So once you start feeling restriction, just another quarter turn. And I haven't ever had any of these come out. I'm gonna take these tabs here. I just pick them up with my spudger, a little sticky on the back, and then lay them down and hold them. And then I'll take my round spudger part and rub them on. Okay, so there we go. Let's power this guy on and make sure that we're good to go. Yeah, be careful around your camera, be careful around your Wi-Fi antenna, and then down here, uh, there's pretty much nothing but the uh, screen connections. That's gonna be tore up anyway. Um, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, uh, click the subscribe button, click the uh, little bell icon so you'll get notified of any new videos that I put out. And uh, I appreciate you watching the video, and I hope you have a good, blessed day. Thank you. Goodbye.